probably one of the most popular organs in concert halls in the United States. We're going to get into this more when we start crawling around inside the pipes, digging into what's going on behind that facade. But talk a little bit about the intricacy of what's going on inside. Millimeters count, right? Oh, quarters of millimeters. Quarters count. of millimeters count. Yes, particularly the smaller the component, the more critical. The basic sound of an organ comes from metal pipes, which are open and, and very slender in shape. When you're designing it. Are there specific pieces that you think about? Like, for example, the Saint-Saëns Third Symphony? It's important to do so. Otherwise, it, it's not going to uh, fulfill those needs. The Saint-Saëns Symphony, which is a staple, it explores very nicely the very softest sounds, and you don't hear it in that second movement till that BAM! <laughs> I've seen people jump. turn on the organ, the blowers whirl up and deliver the wind to the bellows. Those bellows then in turn convey the air to the wind chests via ducts. And in the wind chests are valves which correspond to the keys on the keyboard. So there's 61 keys and 61 valves. The pipes sit on those wind chests waiting for the air to enter them. When you play a key, you let air into the pipes according to the stops you've selected. Here we have 183 reeds here. Say, for example, in the Saint-Saëns organ symphony, is this mm -hmm. something you're going to hear like yes. in the oh, loud I, portions? In the loud section, movement? yes. Play the low C of the contrabombard by itself. It's just a noise. Those are what we call the 32 foot long pipes. So there's that magic moment in the second part of that soft section where the pedals come in an octave lower than the orchestra. People ask us, are these pipes, these wooden things? And I said, yes. Well, are there pipes inside? And I said, no. No, these are really the pipes. For us to prove that that's really a pipe, <laughs> okay. you get to put your hand in it. In, in the in, hole? In the mouth. You see? Yep. Let me tell you, every recital is a challenge to make sure that everything works perfectly all the way through because when you have over 6,000 pipes, it only takes one of them going out of tune to ruin the program. Something that's really special about the Saint-Saëns Symphony, too, is that it really is a chance to demonstrate how the organ can blend with a symphony orchestra just absolutely wonderfully and perfectly. It's the most often heard organ orchestra piece, and it always seems to bring a lot of pleasure and excitement to the audience. I never tired of it. No? It's too good. <laughs> it's better than candy.